warning. How may I assist? I can't move. This suit is currently offline for diagnostic purposes. Thank God. You're awake. Told you. Are you okay? No. Why can I can't move? Oh. Your suit is set to auto. The doctor hacked it and walked you out. Ah, and you've got oxygen deprivation, which is why you feel like you feel. Have you looked down there? Hmm? Oh, no, they're fine. What? Are we safe? What's stopping them? This whole area is new. It's not in their mapping system. Hmm. Yeah. You know, like, when your sat-nav doesn't know a new road. So they can't come here? Not without a floor plan. Good. What happened to the doctor? I thought I saw him. Yeah, he... The doctor took you to safety. He gave you his helmet. He died? He should have done. Don't know how he survived. <laughs> Listen, about the doctor. He walked in a vacuum for far too long. He's mostly okay, but he paid a price. What do you mean? He's in section 12. I think I've got some spare eyes somewhere. They're from a lizard, but I'm sure they'll fit. So, um, until then. Until then what? You really think this is going to slow me down? I did most of my best work walking other people around. You do know we're still here, right? Didn't I send you out to get me a lot? So, what's the plan? Well, we've all been trying to get a radio working, and the doctor's been... thinking. Don't mean to hurry you, but in 700 breaths, I'll be dead. I have to think. He really doesn't like help. Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. <coughs> oh. I think I need some oxygen after that one. Crumbs, um, yes, uh, this was oxygen, um, a few things I can say about that particular clip, I can't recall the detail of those zombie creatures, uh, I don't know whether the whole plot is something to do with being starved of oxygen, um, and as a result, you get turned into a zombie. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember much about those creatures. What I can say, though, is I think the doctor becoming blind is significant. He's obviously walked through a vacuum and saved Bill somehow. Um, and I think this might be a story thread that goes through uh, two or three episodes um, where the doctor tries to recover his eyesight. That chap painted in blue there is um, is somebody I know, sort of an old friend of mine who, who plays tennis. Uh, so um, it was nice to see him there in that clip, um, albeit all painted up um, and uh, blue. <laughs> the colour for monsters is blue, isn't it? In the in the new series, I remember several um, several aliens who were painted blue. Uh, it seems to be a, seems to be the colour for them, doesn't it? Um, but not that his character was a monster, of course. I think he was helping um, uh, Bill Nardole and the Doctor. Um, but I thought that was a, a very enjoyable performance. Um, 
I think the whole thing is set on a spaceship, isn't it? Which gives it sort of quite an atmospheric uh, feel to it. Um, but I'm afraid uh, in terms of the plots, I, uh, my memory is very vague of this one. I would need to need to rewatch the whole thing. Um, but uh, yes, I, I wish somebody could perhaps tell me a little bit more about those those zombie creatures. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I I do recall it being uh, certainly a very atmospheric story, um, and one that uh, was perhaps uh, perhaps the centerpiece of the of the season as a whole. I think from here on. We start to sort of head towards the the big finale. So let's uh, let's have a go at the next one.